Have you ever noticed how completely dependent we are on knowing the exact time? I mean, we take time for granted now, but just 150 years ago, it was all very different. Back then, America had hundreds of towns, each using its own different local time. And 50 railroad companies, each with its own time. It was a total nightmare trying to take a train around the country. I mean, you have to be a math major to figure out what time it is. And you could forget about ever owning a watch, unless you were incredibly wealthy. Back in the mid-1800s, handcrafted luxury watches were the only kind on the market. So who fixed these problems? Well, it was a railway clerk and a cobbler's son. These are classic examples of the kind of people who actually made the modern world. People you've probably never heard of. These are hobbyists and garage inventors. Ooh, Maverick characters doing extraordinary things. The thing about these pioneers is that they didn't just master time. They also set in motion an amazing chain reaction of ideas, resulting in innovations that would go on to affect every aspect of our lives, from how we navigate to how we work, enabling sophisticated technology and time travel into the past. I want to show how the link between all these apparently unconnected worlds starts with the heroes of time. I'm Steven Johnson. I write about ideas and innovation. And this is the untold story of how we got to now. Downing. 758 If you want to completely mess with your sense of time, this is the place to come. The nuclear submarine USS Asheville. Steven, third wake up. Time to get up. Most of us, when we wake up or go to sleep, we're following the kind of natural cues of the, the sun rising or, or setting. But on a submarine, when you're out on the ocean, underwater, for months at a time, you have none of those cues available to you. So people living on a modern submarine are as far removed from the natural rhythms of time as any human beings on the planet. 